Greetings, everybody. So this is a uh, summer festival here in uh, Tokyo. This is the uh, Sumiyoshi Shrine Festival. Every neighborhood in, in Tokyo and Japan has some sort of festival. This is a big one that happens every three years, but today they're throwing, oh, you can see it, they're throwing water on the people because it's so hot. You can see in the distance too. <laughs> so we've got buckets of water. I'm gonna take a shortcut and take you around. There, there's lots of shrines, shrines, portable shrines called Omikoshi being carried today. It is one of the hottest days of the year as well. You can see down the street another portable shrine or Omikoshi is making its way. And they're also spraying it with water. All right, I'm gonna go around the corner and we can catch some more. You know, <laughs> I have in, in my history over the 20 years living in Japan, been waking up many a time by a festival and I think it's crickets, the way that they uh, blow on the whistle. I think it's a cricket, lots of them, but it's not. Yeah, it's a festival. So now they're making their way back towards the shrine. You can see up there on the top is a uh, tori, a, a gate for a Shinto shrine. They've just finished. Oh, it's a little kid's one. The kids are carrying this one. You can hear the, the whistling, it's just really incredible. Now they're taking it over. Just there's so much energy here. Um, this neighborhood is called Skuda. This is in central Tokyo on an island about 15 minutes away from Tokyo Station. Uh, right now there's a festival here, but actually there are festivals all over Japan, all over Tokyo between right now, this weekend, and for the next couple of weekends. It's really getting loud with the whistles blowing. Again, like, you, you can kind of feel the energy, I think, wherever you are. This festival is famous for them spraying water <laughs> on the participants. They're cooling up. Oh, here we go. We got some cocky goody on the left side there to cool people down as well. I think they have 12 different flavors. It's pretty crazy. All right. <laughs> Look at the little kids. <laughs> They're saying, Washoi, Washoi. So the, this chant, Washoi, Washoi, I said it also when I was in the Naked Man Festival uh, back in 2013. It doesn't really have any meaning, it's just something that you say to kind of conjure the spirit up inside of you. So they're taking a break. I guess there's a traffic jam. Alright, it's kind of hard to wait, make your way along the side here. I'll see if I can take you up to the bridge. Some dazzling footwork. Alright, I'm making my way up. 
making my way up to the front and see if we can get you into a better view. Ah, here, here we go. Let's see if I can get you to the front here. All right, we're almost there. I love this time of the year, not because it's hot. That part is tough. It's because there's just so much energy in the city. <laughs> All right, I made it to the bridge here. Hey everybody for joining me, uh, if you're watching this, this is a live stream from Tokyo. I didn't uh, have an announcements for this, so <laughs> I just kind of went because I could hear these, I could hear this outside of my um, house, just all of the buzzing and decided to come outside. There's buzzing all over the city. And I, know, I remember that this is the biggest festival of the area, so definitely came out here as fast as I could. You can see from, from here, going towards uh, Sumiyoshi Shrine, just tons and tons of uh, omikoshi decked out in gold, very beautiful. They glitter in the sun. A lot of, a lot of wet people. You can see the people that are coming this way are wet because they spray water on them. This is a, kind of like a water festival as well. Nobody is dry, it's, it's like sweat and water and everybody's staying super hydrated. You can see water bottles is what cools a lot of the people off. It is super hot today. So let me see if I can make my way to the park. I can't see any of your comments. The screen is darkened. I'm trying to keep the phone cool so we, can, we don't overheat. You can see there's a ton of people from all over. Oh, don't want to get in front of the photo there. It's pretty exciting uh, to see all these people out here. Normally this neighborhood is so quiet, but today it's just alive on the on the on the Saturday morning. <laughs> I, I opened this up, you know, you, you can hear all of the the whistles and you can hear all the people going and uh, um, chanting in the streets. And it has woken me up many times in the past. That's how you know it's uh, August fourth. It's a Saturday. All right, I'm making my way to the to the park now. All right, I made it. Okay, we're sort of out of the crowd. So if you go this way, you can see. Okay, yeah. You can kind of see over there. See over there, there's um, kind of a stage over there. And then from this point, you get a really nice view of this bridge. And this this bridge is very famous here in uh, the Tsukuda neighborhood. This red bridge, it's, it has history going back a, a few hundred years. And this festival, I believe, goes back about 400 years, which is older than the United States. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently you see the banners up here. This is the um, banners for the festival and for the shrine. and they, they look like they're about five meters high, and this festival takes place higher. This festival takes place once every three years. Um, but I guess carrying the omikoshi around the neighborhoods is something they do every year. But once every three years, they have a main festival. And the main course, or the big part of this festival, happens on, um, on Monday, on the 6th of August. And I'll try to come back for that. Hey, Cassie. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, definitely gonna hit a vending machine or, or try to find some water. Like, uh, just, just I'm looking over on this side. Tokyo is so hot. You know, you see tons of bottles of water all over the place. 
people are staying hydrated um, and and they're, they're pumping water and just spraying it on all of the people who are uh, participating in carrying the omikoshi or portable shrine to this point so um, it's very important I, I've been I've been inside a I can last for a couple more minutes before I got I myself have to go to a vending machine or go to a convenience store to get a drink uh, just to stay hydrated uh, I, I was in Shimbashi a couple of days ago everybody and I showed you a cool day in Tokyo that it was still like 38 and then it was like 46 with the adjusted temperature it's like in the 50s with the adjusted temperature today with the humidity although it's not the humidity is not as high now the Sun is just baking and it's so much hotter than it was uh, just uh, last week and as, as we get deeper into August until about August 20th it's gonna be super hot you're gonna want to go to the beach but here's the thing with the beach yeah now when August hits and the waters get so warm the jellyfish come in and, it, and it's hard to go into the water and not get stung by a jellyfish because <laughs> they're all really close to this that's why Japanese beaches around Tokyo are not so popular uh, we got a jellyfish infestation usually uh, but you know there's tons of beer. That's not right. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink beer to stay hydrated, but yeah, some people do. I know of a secret entrance, so we're gonna see if we can go back up over, over the bridge. I came here this way when I, people were asking me about my, my wedding. I did a Q&A down here. Oh, you can hear the chanting. Whoa! What? These look like dragon heads. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm kind of in a secret area behind everything. Let me bring you forward. Wow, and we're really close to this Omikoshi. Check it out, like the gold plating on it, it's beautiful. Tiger's head. Thank you, TKY Fuji, for telling us the tiger's head. It's hard for me to see clearly. Uh, there it goes again. A lot of people are going, when they're carrying it, they'll say, uh, Washoi, Washoi, W A. S H O I. I guess you'd you'd spell it if you if you could spell it in Romaji or Roman letters, and it, it doesn't have any real meaning. It's just something that you sh you chant to try to get the spirits up to to get the energy to carry really heavy, <laughs> really he heavy portable shrines for quite a long way. You can get these things can go on for several kilometers. I think the one in Iwate I did was like 10 kilometers long, which is insane. It's like six, six over six miles they can carry some of these at, at some festival. I don't think they do that here. I think it's just like a couple of kilometers, if, if that. But it's super heavy. And let me take you up a little bit on the end of the bridge here. Oh, that lady just come, just toppled over. She took that cone out. All right, let's go check out this band. I love this music. Hey, Goku, thank you. I'm getting only 720p, why? 720p is actually an improvement. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you get less than 720p on a live stream, but... Oh, there's the Fue, the flute.
Chi Chi Mai, the lion dance. So we got a nice, a nice close up of it, of the, of the Shishi. Chi. There's several of them. Oh, here we go. Hey everybody, so uh, the phone overheated. <laughs> I was trying my best to get to get it from uh, to, to keep it cool, but it was just impossible. It overheated. Anyways, we're at the end of this festival. It starts at 10 a.m. Um, once again, this is the uh, uh, Sumiyoshi uh, Sumiyoshi Shrine Festival that happens uh, every year. But this is one of the big three years. Every three years, it, it's even bigger, and this is the big year. So it's kind of exciting. You can see from the roadways, it's just completely wet and. This is also one of the reasons why this this festival is famous. They throw a lot of water everywhere. So you can see this is the, the line where the water starts. So expect to get a little wet here. Either you're gonna sweat it out or you're gonna get sprayed. One, one or the other, you're leaving here wet. And I'm, I'm leaving here mostly from the sweat. <laughs> but it's, it's a pretty cool festival. You can see the kids out there. They're staying, they're staying um, hydrated and they're staying cool by just splashing water on each other. That's the way I would do it. We do have a community pool in the in this area. Um, down there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's so much fun. And as, as the Omikoshi you come down the street, you can see the left and right, these blue bins, they're just full of water. Yeah. You just take it and throw it, <laughs> like you drench somebody. <laughs> the, these, this is very similar to the um, um, Nebuta festival in Aomori. Behind all of the processions, they have water trucks. So if somebody does um, get dehydrated or fall down or just the heat's too much for them, they have somebody uh, here to help and they also keep, keep all the participants hydrated with these little water trolleys. And this has historically always been like this, where when in these hot days during the procession, they will follow with a water truck. So, let me take you into the action before we end the live stream. Apparently, this is a shishi mai. So, thank you for um, one of the viewers telling us a little bit more about this history. It's hard to find in English. The smaller festivals are all in Japanese. So if you're looking for English information on this, it's going to be harder to find. I also bumped into two, two viewers of the show when the phone was cooling off, and that was pretty interesting. They said that they'd, they found in this area is also a very famous me metal pond shop. Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some water spraying on people. I guess you don't want to spray it onto the onto the um, shishi mai. All right, I'm taking you to the front. That's a shishimai or kind of a lion. These heads are really heavy. It does take this many people to carry them, but to carry them for an extended period of time, it's not easy to do. You can see people are taking a right turn here, going back towards Tsukishima Station. That's where this festival is taking place. The closest station uh, is uh, Tsukishima.
Moon Island, if you translate it. There we go, looking back at the street now, I say, make the turn towards the, towards the station. The kids got the best seat in the house, do you see that? <laughs> All right, so that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go back home now and, and work on the videos. So if, if, if just a little bit of updates on the channel while I close this uh, live stream out. Um, uh, my friends at What's Inside, which is a YouTube channel that cuts things up, <laughs> they were here just a few days ago. They spent one day in Tokyo, and during that one day, we cut open a square watermelon, and it's pretty funny. I'm, I'm, I like doing collaborations with with uh, my friends, not so much with YouTubers, but my friends, and they're my friends, and uh, that was that was a lot of fun. So check that out on the What's Inside channel. Um, you know, their stuff always goes really big because they've been doing YouTube and uh, for a while, uh, and their concept is so interesting. They show what's inside stuff. Uh, so check that out. I'll put a link up here, and uh, I, I think if you just search what's inside, it'll come up on top because it's the it's the last episode that they just put up. And I have I have two new episodes coming this weekend and then next week, so it's going to be bing bing. And I, I want to thank everybody who's been waiting patiently for the new episodes to come out. Hey Matt, thanks for the super chat. I'll say hi to Peter and Barney, his cat. I might see Peter later on uh, this week, so it'll be nice to say hi. It's the police that are blowing the whistle. That's interesting. So they still gotta get the traffic to go through. And he salutes the driver after finishing. Very interesting. And you can see this to get the water out to spray. Keep people cool. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice shaded place. Look, look at the sweat. This is what's happened in the last uh, 20 minutes. Just your body starts to cool you down because of the heat here. It's super hot. Um, I'm, I'm gonna stay here in the shade and end the live stream, but I'm gonna do another live stream today, I think, if I could find something of, of interest, either at one of the fireworks festivals or uh, something that kind of brings you closer to Tokyo. I know a lot of people that are watching this live stream um, might not have the ability to come to Tokyo and uh, every time I do these I think it's a way to bring bring everybody with me so it's nice to share uh, what's going on here in the city in a, a really hot summer day as kids spray the street down which is they're having fun with that <laughs> I, I gosh if I was a kid I'd be spraying everybody until I got in big trouble I wonder how many of those kids got in big trouble probably none of them they look like good kids <laughs> So let's say goodbye to the Shishimai and this festival here in Skuda. Uh, the, the, this festival continues tomorrow and the day after tomorrow on Monday where the big celebration takes place. This one happens once every three years for the big festival. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'll see if I can come back either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow to kind of follow up on this to see how, it, how it's bigger. Hey, they, those kids try to spray water on me. They see me holding the camera and they try to spray water on me. I, look. Oh, now that I'm focused on them, they're not doing it this way. You think you guys can hit me, huh? So let's, let's, should I antagonize them? <laughs> I should antagonize them. I'm making faces. Oh, he saw me. 
So did Grandma up there. She saw me too. <laughs> Alright, the kids, their mom's there. They can't be bad. It's hard to be bad with the mom there. I heard in, in Japanese families, the fathers are usually kind of scary uh, because they're, they're not home often because they're working and the moms are pretty... Oh, that, that father's not scary at all. <laughs> he's like, he's taking part. Oh, he totally dunked her. He totally dunked her. Look at the, the girl's just drenched. Oh man, that's part of the festivals. That's awesome. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, I'm gonna cut out right here. The phone looks like it's it's gonna get hot again too. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do two live streams, and I'll take you somewhere else with me. Uh, somewhere in the city that's not as hot as here, if that's even possible. Uh, literally, it's like it feels like it's over 50 degrees Celsius. So uh, stay cool wherever you are, everybody. If you're if you're watching this at night, check again in the morning. There might be another live stream for you, uh, either to watch or enjoy. I swear, he, he's trying to hit me. It's the, the water's getting closer and closer. If he hit me, I would not complain. <laughs> I'm, a vic I'm not a victim. <laughs> I, would, I would love it. All right, everybody. See you next time. Let's say goodbye. Last 20 seconds to a procession on its way out back towards Tsukishima Station and then back to the shrine as it makes a circuit around the neighborhood. Tokyo's neighborhoods really come alive in August. And it's a great time to be here. Definitely catch one if it's not if not this one. Bye everybody.